Hmm, what beer do I want to try next? It's beer time, it's beer time with the beer man. Yes, it is. So, I have one here by Belching Beaver Brewing out of Oceanside, California. It is a tribute to the Deftones and is called the Digital Bath Northeast Style IPA. Six and a half percent, 30 IBUs. Sounds splendid. I love the Deftones, they're pretty badass. So right on, six and a half, 30, doesn't sound too bad at all for a Northeast. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Not too, too bitter. Sweet little niceness, kind of sounding good, kind of sounding good. Mm-hmm, let's just open her up now. <laughs> nice and easy. Hey, let's shake her let's see if there's any goodies in there. I don't want to go, it's a tall, so. Wow, you can smell it. The dank juiciness. All right, so we st we're going with the f uh, one finger head. Let's go into the smell. Oh, really juicy, fruity, juicy, juicy, kind of orange, juicy, pineapple, juicy. Just smells really dank. Wow, it's really thick. Oh, a bit of a yeasty kind of juiciness. Really has that pineapple coming out. Pineapple. Uh, maybe some grapefruit, pineapple, uh, orange juice, juiciness. Mmm. Ma ma mainly a citrus juiciness. Just really, mmm. I don't get, I, I might be some sl slight hints of. Uh, maybe some mango in there as well. Let's look at it. So the retentions, uh, you know, it's it's not terrible. It's down to a half a finger now after about a minute and a half, so not too bad. Uh, lacing isn't really. It just really looks juicy and like I don't know, like wet. You know, it's not really sticking on the side. It is very kind of a golden yellow orange juicy look to it a lot like grapefruit juice actually looks like grapefruit juice to me um, yeah so it's a little turbid inside nothing's really moving hardcore the bubbles are going up rather slowly it looks very thick and viscous looking uh, it's very crazy. Let's taste it. Man, I was just trying to get a shake around. And get some flavors moving through it, yo. Ooh. Oh, it's got a earthy, noble hoppiness to it. Through this nice, has a bitter spread on the back of the tongue. And this bitter, earthy nobleness that floats up to your palate, uh, spanks that palate with bitter nobleness of hops. Uh, not, not, not bitter, let's not say bitter yet, bitter you feel in the back. But that noble, earthy, woody kind of hoppiness going straight up, spicy, noble, earthy, woody. Um, then it has that juicy, 
citrusy on the on the tongue, very smooth mouthfeel, very creamy and smooth, very thick, uh, medium body, uh, medium body and and feels robust. Let's say in its own little style, like it's really nice. Lacing is actually sticking now, but in weird spreads across the glass. Kind of hazy and cool. I don't know what you're supposed to drink uh, temperature-wise with this. I didn't read what the, it said anything about that or not. I, I imagine 40 degrees or so is probably a good temp. Which it's at that for sure. Just took it out of the fridge. Um, 35 to 40. Glass is hazy. It's cold, you know, just uh, just some haze coming around, some humidity. Very nice. Let's take another swig. That's what the beard's for. It catches any drip, and it sticks and gets all dready after a while. Man, this and yeah. Hold on. I wanna I wanna look at this a little more with taste. pineapple it's sweet it's rich it's kind of tingly bitter all around the mouthfeel not chalky or bad or anything just real you know uh, it kind of has a lingering weirdness of bitter like dryness that kind of throws up to the top of the palate and stuff and around the tongue and the edges of the tongue and around the cheeks. Um, the finish is uh, fairly longer. It kind of resides long enough to let you taste it and then some kind of goes down to, um, uh, you know, mid throat. So yeah, but out of five hops, I'll give this uh, 3.5 hops. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. I mean, I liked. I drink it again. I thought it wasn't bad at all, actually. Um, it kind of lingered a bit for me, uh, a little too much, um, with like kind of a sweet, bitter weirdness that was strange. But overall, it wasn't bad at all, and it tasted good. It had a good smell. The the look of it, everything was nice. So right on, three and a half. <laughs> you guys have a good night. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, please comment. Let me know what you think. If you've had this before, let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. I love to talk about beers. And I want to talk about this one. Yes, I want to talk about that one. <laughs> All right. Now, if you haven't already, please subscribe. Hit that red button and make it gray. And, uh, yeah. And uh, if you're new, check out my intro and do the same. And please hit that like button. That would be splendid. Peace, man. Cheers. I'm out of here. You guys have a good night. Mmm, juicy. Juicy, I'm ready to go. Yippee! Hey, Yang, I'm about ready to drop it in the blue box. Bye-bye. <laughs> All right, Yang, congratulations.